Hey filmmakers, this is Carrie with Filmmaker Central, and today we want to discuss where is DaVinci Resolve 17, along with some of the things I'm looking for in version 17. So stay right there. We'll be right back. Well, now is the time of year when NAB would have been in full effect, and one of the things I look forward to every year is a new release of DaVinci Resolve, usually a major version number, and that would be 17, right? So where is version 17? It's NAB time, so where is it? Well, it's not there, and why? Well, let's discuss that. Well, first off, there's no NAB, so there's they're doing some virtual stuff, some announcements and things, but nothing really exciting, so why push out a beta right now? It usually is months before a final version is available, often as late as August, September. So getting a rushed out beta just to have something for NAB doesn't necessarily make sense right now. So why bother? Why not really work on it and get something super solid that we're all going to be really excited about and then put it out and let it cook in the beta for a while before doing a final release like always. So I don't see a new version being released maybe anytime soon, but I would expect sometime soon that there is a good, nice long beta period to flush out any bugs. And there's always bugs in a new version. Down in the comment, I'd love to hear what you have to say. I'm gonna talk about a handful of things that a lot of people want and seven things that I want. Uh, so of course, there's people that want more bug fixes, obviously. Obviously we need more, you know, there's a few bugs that are in there. Uh, it would be nice to, to see fixed up. More speed improvements, yes, of course. Faster is always better. More import codecs, sure, okay, fine. Yeah, I don't have any problems with the footage that I use, so that's not a big deal. Uh, ProRes RAW support, okay. If I was using ProRes, uh, ProRes RAW, I'd like to see that, but I don't use ProRes RAW, so not a biggie for me. ProRes export under Windows, yeah, I can definitely see a lot of people wanting that. It's a big, big request. I use Macs, so again, not one that's on my list. What would I like to see? Well, a font preview. When you're doing titles, it would be great to see a font preview in the list, just like you can see in almost every other Mac application. I mean, it's just normal now. So to not have an individual resolve, uh, it's kind of a miss. Would definitely like to see that. Fusion, uh, there's still a lot of stuff that is CPU based instead of GPU based. I don't know if that can be addressed, but if they could make more of the Fusion stuff GPU accelerated, it would definitely speed up working in Fusion. And sometimes Fusion can be an exercise in frustration when you start bogging it down with a lot of stuff. So anything that makes Fusion faster is gonna be better. A biggie for me would be to add audio into Fusion. Not to be able to place it in there, but to be able to hear the footage so I can time effects properly. And that is a big, big issue for me. There's a lot of times I'm trying to set an effect uh, or something to the beat of the music or to whatever is going on, on in the video. And it's very hard to sync that up in Fusion because you can't hear the footage and you can or you can't hear the music track. So adding audio to Fusion would be very, very big. And a lot of people would love to see that. Uh, an adjustable panel layout. There's definitely things within the interface that I would like to move around and just kind of make it for me the way I want to work. There's nothing really wrong with it, but being able to adjust the layout, I think would be very cool. <sighs> Fixing up text titles. And there's a lot of quirks in text titles. There's things where you set like a, you know, bold, semi-bold or whatever, and it just goes back to light, even though uh, it shows it on the screen, but then you move it and it changes it back. So that's that's kind of more of a bug, but there, there's more stuff in the text titles that could be fixed. Uh, they don't render right when you're using ACEs. 
Uh, there's just a lot of nuances that could really be enhanced in the text titles. Now, another one, and I use it a lot, is audio syncing. Syncing either secondary audio to the video, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm recording on a Zoom uh, H6, and I'm going to sync that to the video. That's not that bad, although it could be improved. But when I have two pieces of video and I want to sync them without going into multicam and all that, I just want to sync the audio uh, or sync the video to the audio. Why not? Why can't I do that? It would just seems like that would be a very basic thing to do, uh, as well as being able to do it on the timeline instead of having to do it from the media page or something else. And I just want to select two pieces of footage and go sync based on wave code or sync based on time code. That would be an awesome improvement because you can do that in uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. You can just sync two pieces that are on the timeline. I would love to see that in Resolve. It would be a tool that I would use all the time. Almost everything that I do has one or two uh, video clips and I just don't want the hassle of doing a multicam on something that's really, really simple. So that would be a biggie for me. Another one that I would really like to see is when I'm looking at a clip in my media pool, I wanna be able to see the different in and out points that I used. I, I can only see the last one that I used. And that way it would show me that I've used pieces of that in multiple places on the timeline. For me, that would be another big time saving is I'm moving through different clips. And I wanna see, okay, well, yeah, I used that clip but how many sub clips within that did I use on the timeline? So that would be a biggie for me. So those are the biggies for me. That's like seven things that I'd like to see. Definitely I wanna hear from you. Tell me what you'd like to see down in the comments below in Resolve 17. Hopefully it won't be too long of a wait before we actually see something and you'll hear about it first here on Filmmaker Central. Thanks for watching everybody. I love all the subscribers out there, all the comments, the feedback that I get, really appreciate it. We've got some cool stuff coming up here pretty soon. Some uh, third-party transition packs I'm gonna take a look at and some more tips and tricks on using Resolve, as well as whenever 17 comes out, we'll have a full run through of that as well. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.